What's going on, good people? I have a quick video for you today. Today, we are talking about this Fozzy Audio V3 integrated amplifier. It is, can be anywhere from a 30 to 50 watt amplifier if you use the power brick that it comes with. I think that power brick stinks. It's a 36 volt, five amp power brick that in my opinion is not linear and makes it so the dynamics and even the decibels of sound come out irregularly from my speakers. But if you pay $79 for this and then buy this power brick from Amazon for $59, this is a 48 volt, five amp power brick, it's a game changer. This thing realistically goes somewhere between 100 to 140 watts of class D amplification. It does not get too warm when you listen to it for long sessions, and it sounds great. Where most Class D amps sound pretty thin, this one has some meat on the bones, and I think it has so much meat that I think with the Wharfdale, it causes too much mid-range strength, and with this Martin Logan, it sounds good. Uh, something that you should know, though, and this is strange, although it has one RCA input, uh, on mine, these five-way binding posts, they're labeled incorrectly. If you listen to Everloving on, if you do what's suggested and you see the uh, R for right and L for left, if you do it as suggested, these are actually backwards. Everloving, if you do it the way that Fozzie suggests, the beginning of Everloving by Moby comes out of the right speaker instead of the left. So I don't know if that's a quality control issue or if that's the way all of these are designed, but you need to switch it up. So your left speaker actually needs to go on the right binding posts and your right speaker actually needs to go on the left binding posts. Um, other things that you should know about this that uh, are worth noting, I did not get the gold uh, volume or volume uh, knob sent with mine. It just came with this black one and then the brick. Uh, I would have loved to have the green, the gold one, but apparently that's not to be. Um, and then on top of that, this amplifier, it's solid. It's built really, really well for what it is. The internals. Go check out British Audiophile. The internals are actually pretty remarkable for this price range. Um, and it is a solid metal box that I feel comfortable is going to take a beating if you want it. And that's what I'm going to use it for. Not only is it going to be in my desktop setup with my Martin Logan speakers, uh, it's also going to be used for movie playback for my projector that I use on the garage door for friends and family when we want to come and watch a movie in our front yard. Um, this is going to work really, really well for that setup. And it's going to be able to take, don't get me wrong, you're not going to be able to throw it on the ground like a baseball, but it's going to be able to handle that really, really well. Um, some people are questioning whether it actually outputs the watt per channel that some are claiming. It plays loud and it plays clear. It's pretty remarkable. I have played my 4 ohm Martin Logans quite a bit with this at very loud volumes at 95 to 100 dB, which can damage your ears, and it's never shut down. It's never even gotten that hot. You can see a little bit of an orange glow in the top um, from some of the components inside, but it stays pretty cool to the touch. Not pretty, it's very cool to the touch, uh, considering the amount of energy that's passing through it. So do I suggest it for 79 bucks? I do. I honestly thought I was going to be returning this. I'm using it to play some music for a wedding this weekend. And I've just been testing it out for the last couple of weeks. But I'm gonna keep it. Well, for two reasons. A, because it's good. B, because my Relic Amplifier burned up. But that's another story. Anyways, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I appreciate you watching. This This is a good piece of kit. Uh, I can see why others have hyped it. And no, I'm not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just make this because it's fun. Uh, but if you have questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, I thank you for watching, and I really hope you're enjoying your day. Enjoy the music. Bye.